Good morning. It is Easter Monday, and here we are. Also April Fool's Day, Monday, April 1st, 2024, we have our three readings. Our psalm reading is Psalm 118, 1 and 2, and 14 through 24. Our Old Testament reading is Genesis 1, 1 through 19, and then our New Testament reading is from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 35 through 49. I click on, and it looks like we're going to be reading it out of the New Revised Standard Version. The updated edition, of course. So here we go. Psalm 118. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, his steadfast love endures forever. The Lord is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. There are glad songs of victory in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but I shall live. And recount the deeds of the Lord. The Lord has punished me severely, but he did not give me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through him and give him thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Our Old Testament reading is the beginning of it all. Genesis 1. When God began to create the heavens and the earth, the earth was complete chaos, and darkness covered the face of the deep while the wind from God swept over the face of the waters. Then God said, Let there be light, and there was light. And God saw that the light was good, and God separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. And God said, let there be a dome in the midst of the waters, and let it separate the waters from the waters. So God made the dome and separated the waters that were made under the dome and the waters that were above the dome, and it was so. God called the dome sky, and there was evening, and there was morning the second day. And God said, Let the waters under the sky be gathered together into one place, and let the dry land appear. And it was so. God called the dry land earth, and the waters that were gathered together he called seas. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, Let the earth put forth vegetation, plants yielding seed, and fruit trees of every kind on earth that bear fruit with seeds in it. And it was so. The earth brought forth vegetation, plants yielding seeds of every kind, and trees of every kind bearing fruit with the seeds in it. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the third day. And God said, Let there be lights in the dome of the sky to separate the days from the night, and let them be the signs for the season and for the days and the years, and let them be the lights in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth. And it was so. God made the two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and lesser light to rule the night and the stars. God set them in the dome of the sky to give light upon the earth, to rule over the day and over the night, and to separate the light from the darkness. And God saw that it was good. And there was evening, and there was morning, the fourth day. Our New Testament reading, 1 Corinthians 15, 35 through 49. 
But someone will ask, how are the dead raised? With what kind of body do they come? Fool, what you saw does not come to life unless it dies. And as for what you sow, you do not sow the body that it is to be, but a bare seed, perhaps of wheat or some other grain. But God gives it a body as he has chosen, and to each kind of seed its own body. Not all flesh is alike, but there is one flesh for humans, another for animals, another for birds, and another for fish. There are both heavenly bodies and earthly bodies, but the glory of the heavenly is one thing, and that of the earth is another. There is one glory of the sun, and another glory of the moon, and another glory of the stars. Indeed, stars differ from star in glory so to it with the resurrection of the dead what is sown is perishable what is raised is imperishable it is sown in dishonor it is raised in glory it is sown in weakness it is raised in power it is sown in a physical body it is raised in a spiritual body if there is a physical body there is also a spiritual body thus it is written the first man adam became a living being the last adam became a life-giving spirit but it is not the spiritual that is first but the physical and then the spiritual the first man was from the earth made of dust the second man is from heaven as one of dust so are those who are of dust as one of heaven so are those of heaven just as we have borne the image of the one of the dust, we will also bear the image of the one of heaven. And here ends our readings for the day.